Hey everyone, Kevin back for another video. I hope you're all doing well. I'm back listening to every Radiohead song in alphabetical order. And we're on to the track Dollars and Cents, which was uh, from Amnesiac 2001, 20 years ago. Uh, yeah, I've heard Dollars and Cents many times. Uh, I've not heard it in quite a while, so it will be good to give you my opinion, which I will do a couple of times during the song and after. Everyone, thank you all for the support so far. Thank you for subscribing. If you do like what you see, hit the subscribe button. If you don't, don't hit the button, of course. But please do leave a comment below and let me know what I could do differently. So, yeah, let's get into it. So, okay, dollars and cents. Was it there? Uh, yeah, I, I like the incessant drums and bass. It really drives a great pattern right at the, as soon as you hit play, boom, it just starts straight away. So it's really in your face. I also like the way the strings or sort of keyboards uh, follows Tom's melody in the back as well. The only slight negative I have is it maybe is a little bit too much going on too quickly. So when they do have those little moments of stripping some of the sounds back and it clears it up a little bit, it's really, really good. Uh, but yeah, I like the guitar chords. There's like just a constant chord uh, going. Uh, but the drum and bass, I guess, are the best too uh, because they just really drive the song. They keep that pattern, they keep that rhythm going on and on and it gives a little bit of room for Tom's vocals and the synth sounds behind the vocals following the melody to expand on that. So yeah, so far so good. Really, really nice usage of some delay and reverb on the vocals there. Uh, I like the way Phil's also do little fills, uh, no pun intended, uh, with cymbals and other things, just giving it an extra little beat and dimension. Really nice, really good. Yeah. 
I'm going to take that back a few seconds, sorry. Uh, the strings were really, really beautiful there, and I like the delay on Tom's vocals as well. It's like, the bass is really incredible. It's, uh, it's simple, just a couple of notes, but it really makes the it makes the song sound so full in your ears, but the synths and Tom's vocals with the delays just give that an extra little turn so that it's not a constant sound uh, driven by the drums and bass. Uh, so yeah, the, the addition of the synths there when the guitars are pulled back is really, really nice. I'll play that again. The way the drums are still going on in the background, really nice. Yeah, I like. I, I would actually say the outro is probably my favourite part in the whole song, apart from the part I played earlier with Tom's vocal delays with the strings. I really like the outro. I like the way everything slows down, the guitar notes just dropping down a couple of notes and just slowing right down, and then you can hear the drums being more dissident in the background as the song ends, it's nice. The rhythmic style on this album, uh, obviously Kiddy and Amnesiac and latter King of Limbs for me is all about rhythm. Uh, I think tracks like Dollars and Cents, maybe like Spinning Plates is kind of where, it's kind of the style that Radiohead should have had on King of Limbs, even though King of Limbs was 10 years after this. It kind of missed the mark for me, but the tracks on Amnesiac, some of them really hit the mark uh, in terms of rhythm. Uh, but yeah, my opinion on that, that it's a good song. Again, it's quite a, it's an album track, it's not a standout song for Radiohead, but it is a good album track which gives really nice bass and drums all the way through, it gives you that constant rhythm and allows the rest of the band to play with you know Tom's vocals. There's not really much guitar going on, just a couple of guitar notes and chords, uh, but the synthesizer sounds and the strings are really really nice. Uh, but overall it's a decent track, it's not a, you know, it's not one of my top Radiohead songs but it's not a bad track at all. So let me know in the comments what you think of Dollars and Cents and I will see you all on the next one. Okay, take it easy. See you later. Bye-bye.